I'm gonna be out here trying to catch some fish. We have our usual power bait. We also have spinners because I do have some pretty good luck uh, catching fish on spinners here. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully it's a good day. Hunter's gonna be joining us in a little bit. Let's get our standard on. We got corn, we got pink, and we got garlic. First one, here we go. Well, the camera was off. That's a pretty good first, first fish. Well, there is our first one. Not a bad one. In this pond, they usually don't stock them too, too big. We are going to be doing a catch and cook today. That being said, <coughs> hey, stop it. Stop. <coughs> nope, that doesn't get you nothing. Don't give in to your dog's barking, guys. Don't do it. That was on the corn power bait there. All right, well, that was back here in this corner. cook up a little later. Perfect size to like fit in a pan. We brought a little cast iron pan, some seasoning. Back in, corn power bait has been getting it done for us. Get another scoop of this. This is what it looks like here. This is like my first time having good success on it this year. All right, let's get this back in the water. All right, back in the juice, right around there has been the hot spot and then we're gonna throw around a spinner and hopefully catch one and right when I cast that there's one that easy that easy they definitely stock some better ones in here that's a nice one nice and pink Pulling a little bit here. Ready? Oh, he just popped off right there. <laughs> all right. Well, that happens. Quick release. Quick release. That's all right, guys. We're gonna catch more. It doesn't matter. We're not going too far for these fish. Right there. Oh, our power bait. Our power bait. It just happens too fast. I think he's swimming towards us. Nope. He just stripped it. All right. Back in. There, we've been having success. This one I'm going to release because I, yeah, I just want to. I knew we were going to get at least one on the spinner, but there's our first spinner fish of the day. Hopefully not our last. I'll try to get it. Oh, there you go. Quick release. That was on the gold spinner though. And of course it was right after I turned off my GoPro, so. I think we just got bit. Just got bit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's pecking. A bird flew into our line. But we still got a fish. Still got a fish. <laughs> bird fish. This is a pretty nice one. Not huge, but bigger than the small ones we were getting before. Let's see if we can get them up here this time. Oh, there we go. Probably the biggest one of the day, I would say. On the corn power bait. Pretty much right when we casted that bait in the water, we got bit. Well, we're gonna get them on the stringer here. All right, third fish loaded up. There's some pretty good ones in here today. All right, 
There is three on the stringer. We have one to go. The story today has been all corn power bait. That last one was pretty good. They seem to mostly be here, right out here in front. Put this down and boom, instantly. There's another one, instantly. Seems like they're kind of stacked in this area right here. Come on, baby. Come on. That was unbelievably quick. He is lip hooked. See if we could swing him. We got him. There we go. Last one. Perfect little pan fryer right there. We are going to uh, gut this one real quick, probably, and then start cooking them. Actually, could go for, for a bigger one. Survived. Didn't touch you. Getting into mischief. All right, guys, while we wait for our last fish, I think I'm just gonna pull one of them off the stringer and start cooking them here. And I'm hungry. That's the main reason. So we have some garlic olive oil. And in here we have some fish seasoning mixed with some Old Bay and some cayenne pepper. There are a million different ways to cook trout. This is just the way I'm gonna do it today. A simple pan fry method. Have my little backpacking stove, my little cast iron pan right there. So, nice ones on there, man. We'll grab the smallest one, which is this one here. Boom, all right. This is the guy we are going to clean and cook. Should taste pretty good, we'll see. So if you guys don't know, there's a super basic, easy way to cleaning trout. And you basically just go up the belly, all the way up. You get to the gills here and then you reach your finger around these gills. Pull that off and then you put your finger down the throat and then you just pull and everything comes out including those two little pectoral fins and then boom you got your guts right here. Pop the bloodline in here you guys will see there's some blood. Just push it all the way up and get all that blood out of there. The head, there goes our trout head. And there we go, we're just left with that little, basically just all the meat of the fish there. To get the flavor to really kind of get in there, we're going to cut some slits across here. Boom. Boom, there we go. So we're gonna pour our garlic olive oil into our little pan here. Gotta love the garlic. We're going to light this up here. Shouldn't take too much. There we go. All right. We're going to take our fish seasoning, get it on this fish. Still watching the rods. We still have rods in the water. All right, and there we go. Now we're just gonna put it in the pan, nice and easy. If you do end up doing this, you can't cook a fish and then catch another one for your limit. It counts for your limit. So I now can catch one more, leave with three, and then we're cooking our fourth technically. Oh, that smelled good. Jesus. Ooh, the garlic. All right, guys, I think we're about done here. Mm -hmm. That came out really good, though. For those of you always asking the question, can you eat those fish out of the pond? Yes. That is the reason they stock them in there, for people to catch and eat. You got one? No way. <laughs> Heck yeah. On the spinner? I switched it back to the black and yellow that I got that first one on. Beautiful. Look at that. Just as I'm uh, reconfiguring some camera angles. Oh, jump for me. <laughs> Smack the spinner. You worked hard for that one right there. That's a good one. He worked about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give up though. Hey man, never give up. Clean this fish. Almost.
about it for that trout, guys. He's gone. Two pretty nice stocked rainbows. We kept and we cooked that other one in there. He was freaking delicious. That is the two we are going to take home. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next freaking video. My shirt is salmon, not pink. Okay?